Back now with the catch of the day, and it's not one you normally find around here, but our warming oceans and changing planet have allowed a different kind of crab to wander into Virginia's waterways. And on your side, Chris Horn, now with a look at the new visitors, the stone crab. Chris? Yes, Aisha, I held one of them in my hands and made sure to keep my fingers away from those claws. Researchers at Vim say we're in uncharted scientific waters. The Virginia Institute of Marine Science has five stone crabs caught by local crabbers in the southern end of the Chesapeake Bay. It has never been documented for Chesapeake Bay. They're found North Carolina and South. Professor Rom Lipsius has been doing marine research for more than 40 years. For me, it's one of the exciting findings now. How'd they get here? Because of warming temperatures, we now have various species that are now moving farther north. And they didn't crab walk their way from North Carolina. They're not moving in as juveniles and adults. They have to come in as, as larvae, and then the juveniles and adults grow. The larvae is riding the Gulf Stream and into the bay. The stone crab needs to be at higher salinities, so okay. you won't find it way up in Maryland. This guy is about five years old. He'll live to about seven. They feed on oysters. The stone crab is a refuge dweller or shelter dweller. So it has to find good shelters or dig a burrow. Uh, you'll see burrows in seagrass beds or they live within uh, oyster reefs. The stone crab has two different claws. It uses the left claw to crush its prey, clams and oysters. It uses the right to tear them apart and eat them. And don't feel so bad the next time you eat claw meat. When processors twist off the claw, they keep the claw and they release the, the stone crabs. And the stone crabs, through progressive molts, when they cast off their shells to grow, they will grow the claw back. While the stone crab gets used to its new digs, researchers at VIMS are soaking up a biological breakthrough. But I see this as a, and a really exciting time. It uses the left claw to crush my finger and the right claw to tear it apart and eat it. Now, I have all my fingers, and Professor Lipsius says, the expansion of the stone crab into Virginia waters is similar to the white shrimp. It, too, was once found only in southern waters, but is now an established species for the Chesapeake Bay. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.